Hello there and welcome back or welcome if you're new. My name is Daphne. Thank you so much for joining me today. We are getting started with a well overdue project. We are going to be staining, first cleaning, then staining the steps and also the surround on my front porch. This has been an area that I have wanted to refresh for a long time. So I just got back from Home Depot and Lowe's and I picked up a couple of plants that we're going to be doing um, in the upcoming days and I'll be sharing it with you pretty soon. Um, I picked up some beautiful um, window boxes that we're going to be putting in the two front windows. I won't be sharing that in this video, but I did just pick it up. So I'm just unloading everything um, onto the walkway. And then we are going to get started with clearing off the porch and then going in and really giving it a really thorough scrubbing. I want to wish you a happy Easter. I hope that you are enjoying this Resurrection Sunday with your loved ones, friends, family, and just having some time to be able to enjoy the holiday if you are celebrating it. So I'm just giving you close-ups of how the stone actually looks, all of the water stains, the rust, um, I live in a 1936 colonial and all of this hardscape is original to the home. So no matter what I do with power washing and scrubbing, you know, each year, I still have these stains that I have to deal with. So I decided um, today before, you know, it starts getting too warm, I was just going to take advantage of the cool weather and I was going to stain. Now I wasn't really sure if it was going to work on this surface, but I'm so happy with how the project turned out. So I'm just gonna let you guys watch the process and I'm sure you will be very excited with the reveal at the end. So I just have my deck brush, deck broom, and I have some warm water and dish soap, and I'm just really gonna scrub. I'm gonna use the deck broom, and then I'm also gonna go in with a handheld um, brush and really get all of the grime that has accumulated over the winter off of the stairs. Baby, you can 
So when I went to Home Depot, I had went there with the intentions of purchasing um, concrete stain. Now I have been staining, decking, and wood like in my backyard, and I use the um, semi-transparent uh, bare stain, and I use a color slate. And I basically was going to repurchase that same color but in a concrete stain so i decided i was going to take a chance and i was going to use the same stain that i used on the decking here on the concrete and see how it turned out so we have went through we've scrubbed and we've washed um, the stairs so now we're just going to start preparing um, the stain so this is the stain that i had I literally had three quarters of a can of a gallon left over from the staining that I did previously. So I didn't want to buy a whole nother gallon um, of concrete stain when I already had this. So I'm taking the chance to see, you know, if this stain will work in that application. Before I started staining, I just got out my blower and I just blew off all of like any type of debris that was left over after we did the scrubbing. I started out using this uh, foam roller, but I really didn't like the way that it was um, putting on the stain. So on the second coat, I switched over to a chip brush and I think that that application was much nicer. And originally I was not gonna be covering up the grout. Um, I thought that I was gonna keep it the natural color, but once I um, did a small portion of it, I decided that I was going to just, you know, cover the complete surface um, all with the same stain. And I really liked the way that it turned out. And as I was doing it, because I did three coats, um, I was debating whether I would do the risers and the surrounding stone in the same color but i opted to not do it at this time but i can always go back and stain that area later if i decide This was definitely the right time of year to tackle this project. It was really nice out. I think it was about 59 degrees, so I really had a good time because I had to wait between coats 
Um, I think I was waiting at least an hour in between just so that it was dry to the touch. This is how it looked after one coat with the roller. You can see how splotchy it looks, so I definitely am glad that I changed over to the chip brush. And you can see how much easier and better coverage I'm getting with the chip brush. And this is how it looks after two coats. Um, I am going to be going in and refreshing uh, around the trim with the white paint. And then also at the threshold, I usually uh, paint the wood there black. Um, I refresh it after the winter because the snow and the salt and all of that wreaks havoc on you know this area. So I always like to refresh it in the spring. I am in love at how this turned out. I cannot believe that it was so easy to do and the results look so good. So leave me a comment down below if you have any type of um, porch that you're thinking about staining and what the material is, if it's a deck, if it's concrete, if it's flagstone. Leave me a comment down below because I love the way that this turned out and I will be reporting back later how it is holding up in the element. So we're gonna just take a look back at how it looked in the before and then we're gonna go into the after. And then I have a quick project that I want to share with you guys. So you definitely wanna stick around for it. So I just wanted to share with you guys, I had mentioned that I was going to be overwintering my ferns. These are beautiful, huge ferns that we had in the planters on the porch. And all I did was I took the planters and I put them in the garage. I watered over the course of the winter two times and they survived. I never cut them back, I didn't do anything. So what I'm gonna do is I'm taking them out of the garage, I'm cutting them completely back so that they can flush out. Even though they already have a nice amount of growth on it, I'm just gonna cut everything back so that it can flush out again. And I'm just gonna tidy up this area. I am gonna go in and feed them very well. I'm gonna be using miracle Grow Water Soluble, so I'm just gonna mix it up and I'm going to give both of these a really generous drink of water and fertilizer.
So of course I made a complete mess here in my driveway. So I'm just gonna take the time to clean it up. And I'm also going to sweep out um, the leaves that have accumulated over the course of the last week or so. I mentioned before, but this um, driveway is like a little wind tunnel because we have the high walls on both sides. As the leaves come blowing down um, the street from my other neighbor's lawns, it blows and collects here. Even while I am um, sweeping, you can see how the wind is like spiraling and pushing everything back towards the garage. So I'm just fighting, you know, with the wind and we're going to eventually get it into the lawn bags and then we're gonna dispose of it at the organic yard um, pretty soon. But I just wanted to share this footage with you guys and I will be keeping you posted on the progression of the ferns. Hopefully they will be big and beautiful and bushy and will be back in its spot on the uh, front porch pretty soon. So I just wanted to thank you guys for joining me again today. Again, I wish everyone a happy Easter and I am going to be doing a quick project recap at the end of the video so that if you haven't watched the complete makeovers that we did last year, those videos are gonna be linked in the playlist so you can check them out. And I'm just gonna give you a final look here at the ferns and I will report back as soon as they start flushing out again with amazing growth. So until the next time, that I see you, which will be next Sunday. Have an amazing day, an amazing week. This is the recap, so you can check out these videos, and I will see you next time. You're